Engineering wasn't something that I thought about initially, and when I first started thinking about it, it seemed a little bit scary, just because I didn't fit that stereotype of an engineer. But I think it's important to remember that there isn't really a stereotype. You know, ultimately, engineers are, are problem solvers, and however you think about solving problems, I think that it could be good to examine, do I want to solve them in this kind of capacity? And you just, you know, give it a try. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least you can say you've tried. For Con Ed, it's like you're continuously learning, especially in our group, and we have so many subject matter experts in each group. You can just go there and ask them questions, and they will be so happy to teach you from like start to the end. Like, they will not be like, oh, you didn't know this, but they'll teach you, teach you. That's like really, I love it. The connection between you know, us and the environment and you know, us and trying to become more sustainable it just so happens that Con Edison is on, I think, an upward trend for sustainability. It's become a real focus in the company. But I've always really cared about it. And after I graduated from the LDP, the fact that that was what we did, and we worked with, if not primarily renewables, then renewable adjacent technology, was really important to me to be able to work for a mission that I support. If I have to speak to a young person who is interested in engineering, I would say there are two things which you should keep in mind. First is there should be a hunger for learning. Always keep learning. And the second thing is you should evolve with new technology. These two ingredients make you an ideal candidate for successful engineering.